I didn't start recording. What is wrong with me? Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been talking to myself for so long. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. I can, I can manage this. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. Fine, I'm just gonna buy salad balls so we get some hits. And that was not ideal. Maybe should have just rolled the pairs instead, but... Oh god, that hurts. This is a good start as well. Okay, maybe it just turns into like... <laughs> a short. I've been meaning to make shorts for a long time, so... Maybe that's what I'll do with this, if it somehow still gets somewhere. Uh, but yes, don't want any of this. We need like monkey scaling now, I think. Or oh, we could do this. If I get a cat or a dragon, that's also very good. That is a dragon. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, let's get rid of... I'm gonna get rid of the crocodile and the giraffe, I think. Oh no, because that's still scaling. We can get rid of these two, and then I get like a little bit, extra, little bit of extra money. But I'm hoping to find another ox. That is amazing. Okay. So, best order. Maybe like this. I still want the giraffe hitting both of these. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. A bit of a rough team. It's still fine. Okay. And we have so long to scale as well. This is so doable. Like, it's actually just fine. I was debating ending on the mosquito or the duck there, and I ended up choosing the duck, but it may be better to not do that. I'm going to leave the cow, because it's much better to roll and try and find um, chocolate for this or another ox, so. And, yeah, fine. Alright, we'll just do that one more time then. But I really do want to find chocolate and an ox. Good. So now we can get rid of the giraffe soon. At least try to. Might as well freeze the snail, because if we lose, then uh, it's slightly better than a regular tier 1. And I think we're fine here as well, because we can get great trades at the front. Yeah, we are. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, so yes, I need to have three of these oxes. We need to be scaling everything up all at once, so I'm going to get rid of the giraffe. And then we are going to be scaling all three of these. But I do need to find a level up for the dragon, otherwise this is going to get a little bit more annoying. And now I am going to buy another one of these. And yeah, let's try and spread these out a little bit. Okay. The question is if I get, like, steak or something, but... As things stand, I'm pretty happy running it as it is. Don't really care about leveling this other ox, by the way. Like, this. There's just no reason for it. Looks like we're... Yeah, okay. Dude, if this is going to be the one, I'm going to be so upset. Okay, we'll just keep by selling, but come on. I need dragons. I need to find the levels for this. There we go. I'm actually just going to freeze this and keep rolling, because, like, three rolls to try and find um, chocolate or something before I start buying the other things. I'm not freezing a snail. <laughs> this is also pretty good. It's slightly less value than... Um, these, I think. So this is like, well, the pig is great value, but I think normal tier 1s are like 2 gold for plus 3-3. Three, three, kind of. And uh, yeah, this is obviously 3 gold for plus 4-4, four, four, so... And it might not hit my oxes, so I think I'm fine leaving that. I don't know how long to wait, though, because if I can get this thing leveled up, then it'll double my scaling. <laughs> that is absolutely huge. We're now on 1 HP. Always a concern. We have done it. Okay. Okay, please. I, I do see the other rocks, but I don't think that's a priority. Like, it would be cool to have at the end of the game to try and go, like, full locks or something. But right now, we just need to go, like, super hard on getting all these things very large. Uh, yeah, we end on this, and then we just have to hope we don't die this turn. If we can survive another turn after this, then I think we're just fine. Like, we have the scaling. I just need to be able to use it now. Ha <laughs> ha! Mosquito is no concern. <laughs> against the Ox Squad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. More of these. All the tier 1s, please. I do not care about getting equipment on this. Like, There's just no reason to do it, I feel. Unless I <laughs> do that. I could build this ant just to get the starting shield on it, and then I can buy the other otter, and then that's not too bad. I think that's fine. It's not great value, because it's like 2 gold just to get like a shield on this at the start. But it might protect it from a snipe, and that could be pretty cool, and we do get some stats out of the ant, so... Let's do it. It didn't go where I wanted it to go. Like, hitting... Oh. Okay, well, both of those were pretty useless, and I can't freeze snails. 
Uh, we're still getting there. These middle oxes are very large. Or oxen. These games are also getting pretty big. But I think we're okay for now. Yeah, we are. Okay, just keep scaling. We don't need any more chocolate. Again, no interest in leveling this thing. Just need to find tier 1s and then when we're like at the end, I need to find two more oxes. And then maybe find a uh, steak for them or something. Okay. That was not a great turn. We bought and sold like two things. Ooh. No, it's fine. Yeah, these things aren't that big. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, actually, wait, yeah, the stall's actually really good. That was great for us. Because it's going to take a while to get this into um, safe wind territory. And honestly, I don't think we're ever going to get there, but I do need more time to scale these, so I'll definitely take that. Come on, please, tier one. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. There's still time. I should probably start freezing steak when I see it, though, because that's probably the only food I'm going to want to put on other oxes if I find them. Again, it's oxen, but I suck at um, remembering. <laughs> okay, this is the question, though. Do I just unfreeze these hard roll for my oxes? I think I do. It's the only way I can get a five of a kind victory out of this. Like, buying and selling, obviously the right play. Like, there's no reason to sell things for, like, default stat um, ox, but... Yeah, we need to try and find it, so let's, let's have a go. We found one. We get like three more rolls. No, okay. Well, I'm locking in. This is the team now. But we'll see. We'll see where this goes. I think we're dead. That's a scary team. Oh, we're not. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'll take that. That is a nice looking team. But very sad that I, uh,. Didn't start recording at the start. Oh, God. Okay. Well, we'll take it. Okay. Well, at least I have that screenshotted. But let's go again. Alright. Game number two. I just had an amazing ox run. I ended up with quads. I did spend the last turn looking for nothing but my, <laughs> my final two oxes. And I did find one, but... Yeah, sadly, didn't get the fifth, and I did not start recording until like halfway through the run. <laughs> it's very, very sad. I do see that I'm recording now, though. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just like take a picture of that and uh, post that somewhere, but I don't know if that's going to be a YouTube run. And I probably want to stack that. Stack that there, and then just roll for some other thing. I don't know if I'm keeping any of this. Oh, yeah, okay. I've had a beaver game before. So I'm probably not going to try and keep these things around. But uh, it's nice to get the combination at least. And we won this round, which means I do get my HP back. And we are starting out with 5 HP again. Great stuff. Maybe stack that there if I really wanted. But <laughs> I think we start by seeing what our first tier 3 is. It is a giraffe. Very nice. I think buying both of these and then stacking the otter is fine. Or I could buy both of those and then sell beaver, buy otter, and then buy my other tier 3. That may be worth it, actually. Like, sell Cricket, sell Beaver. Ooh, that really depends. I would love to go for a Peacock game. Like, I don't think I've had one of those. Let's greed. It's not very smart, but... <laughs> Let's get stats on, like, these two. Oh, Camel. Camel is also really nice. Slightly nicer than Peacock. We can start getting some early stats on there. Uh... Let's just go super hard. Let's go really hard on the camel. Like, next turn, I'm just, like, buying apples and rolling for otters. Like, there's nothing else I want at this tier. Obviously, running um, camel, then peacock makes more sense. But I want to scale the camel, so I have to have giraffe behind it. Which is why I'm running frontline peacock instead. It's already very large. Like, it can handle it. I'd like to think, anyway. And let's just get a swan. It's just an easy... It's like a buy sell. It's like a pig, but with bad stats. Considering I'm getting rid of it next turn. Uh, hey, managed to triple trade. Very good. That is a bit more concerning. Yeah, but not to worry. Cool. Okay, another drop. I am more than happy to try and get that thing to level 2. I could always play it separately, you know, sell swan, start scaling up the peacock, but... I don't know. I don't know how much I care about the peacock. 
The other thing I could do is like a giraffe chain, but I, I don't think this is the... I don't think this is the giraffe game. I think I do sell this to start getting up the peacock, though. Like, that's fine for now. I think this is good as well. So I'll take one of those, and then let's roll. I don't actually want to keep the peacock. Like, I'd much rather roll for either of these and or just salads and otters and so many other things. Yep, that is great. Uh, can't sell anything to buy these, because I'm not selling the otter for another camel. Need to stack that on top. So let's start with this, then. It's... Yeah. <laughs> this is fine. The question is whether I combine my... Um, my giraffes before I buy the otter, because I don't want the stats to go on the giraffes. I want it to land on the camel. Like, peacock would be cool as well, but these things don't need it. I can always like, play that separately if I really need. But, nah, I think I just buy this straight, stack that there, and I can roll and buy something else. Or just keep rolling. Didn't go where I wanted, but that's fine. And is salad or continue rolling for camel, giraffe, and otter? I think I'd rather roll three times, try and find one of these three. Just any of those would be great. We didn't find any. Not a huge concern, but a little bit sad. Would have taken any of those very happily. Like, two of them would have give, given me a combination, and the other one would have been, you know, like a salad. Or like a sushi, I guess. Sushi that's guaranteed to hit my altar. Okay, let's stack this anyway then, so combine those by this. And I know a deer is good, but I don't want a deer. Squirrel. Squirrel is way nicer. Maybe freezer canned food, but I'd rather find some pears or something if I'm rolling a ton. Oh, is this when I get rid of the otter then? Sell otter, buy snail, freeze turtle pill, and I don't know, pull that onto there. I think that's fine. Okay, so definitely still want the camel getting buffed. You can still stay at the front, probably. Yeah, okay, and I do have extra gold. Okay, freeze all these things. Kind of sad that I didn't get to buy the final snail, but who knows, maybe I lose again. If I lose again, then I can always play that. And this is a yeah, very easy fight, good. No idea how I'm going to scale up multiple camels if I need, though. And the other question is, if I am going for a camel game... Yeah, what's the best way to do this? Like, monkey... It's fine, but it obviously only scales the front thing. I definitely don't want to do seal scaling. Finding a dragon could be really cool. Cat is, like, not terrible either. I think dragon and monkey are probably the top picks, though. So maybe sell snail. I'm not getting rid of the peacock for a while, so I think this is fine. Uh, do not care about the meat bones. I could freeze them and then they'd be like one gold next turn, but <laughs> just, just not interested. I think I buy this and just keep rolling. Another one of these, yeah. Maybe you stack that there. Stack that there, yeah. And I do not need more squirrels. I think a salad bowl is fine, probably. I'm combining all my camels into the big one next turn, though, so. Yeah, let's run it like this. Still do not care about my peacock. Like, I threw <laughs> threw melon on there because I thought that'd do better than garlic. But we don't care about it. I'm not trying to make this work. I just... It's too big to get rid of yet. So I'm just letting it um, help carry us a little bit more than it was. Yeah, penguin, not happening. Uh, chili. Probably not either. I don't know. i probably just buy the salad bowl as it is. Which is a bit sad because I want to combine there. But I <laughs> don't really want the rest of this. I don't know, it's probably a while until I get rid of this. I can probably just, like, do that. So do that, buy this. It is a mammoth, not that interested. But if I find a pill, it's kind of nice. So I think it's fine to grab for now. Yeah, instant pill. And it's going to be, like, free next turn. Awesome. Uh, leave this one. We can find, like, chocolate and stuff. And honestly, I need to roll a lot to try and find actual scaling. Because, yeah, if we don't find monkeys or uh, dragons, then... I'm not sure how we're going to scale this. Thankfully, this is still going extremely well. We only have one of these camels, and there's no, like, synergy for it. You know, I'm obviously not running uh, elephant or rat, but I don't need it. Or at the very least, I don't want it. Okay, maybe I start, like, throwing in another another camel now. Like, sell squirrel, pill, pill mammoth. Everything else is a little bit hard to get rid of, so. Sure, let's do that then. Pump this one. Going to leave the apple. It's two golds for one one in stats. Like, it's not... It's not bad, but if I can just find a monkey or something, it's, you know, consistent sushi. <laughs> I think I much prefer that if I'm buying anything. Ah, uh, cows are so pretty good. Not terrible, at least. I like the pear, too, but, you know. Yeah, freeze all of it, I think. 
Uh, next turn, I'm probably just like bang all this, but I do need to find some other thing to throw on the team. I think this is very solid. So maybe run it like this or something? I don't know. I almost feel like that's the better play, but <laughs> I may run it like this and just hope we don't run into like, you know, level two crocodile or something. It's going to hurt if this thing dies before the camel gets to trigger. Ooh, that is also very painful. But it worked out. It worked out, no worries. I can now fix the bad order. Probably just gonna sell the turtle instead of waiting for a pill, because. Yeah, I, I need room. I need room for these things. So let's buff this by sushi by cow. Keep buffing this one. Going to leave the snail, I think, instead of freezing that. Tiger's cool, obviously. Like it is good, but yeah, it's not how we're going to be doing this. Uh, let's swap these two around. So, yeah, we have a bit more of a chain here going. Wouldn't mind putting that on there soon, to be honest. I think that could be a pretty good idea. Like, garlic obviously makes sense, but when you're in, like, the late game and everything's, like, you know, 30-30 and up, you definitely save more stats by just, you know, not taking 20 damage in one hit. Instead of, you know, getting, like, 10 hits and somehow uh, taking two away each time. So I think this is absolutely fine for us. Uh, finally level the giraffe if I want. It might give me a cat or something, like, I think it's worth going for. And it did not. I'm also gonna leave the pizza, because we still need to find scaling. Oh god, it just doesn't exist. Well, I could always take this camel and just give it a steak. I don't know what I'm doing with this cow, though. Because the issue is, we're at, um, eight trophies. So if I win this round, then I have two camels and... I don't know. It's going to be rough. Like, I could probably get to win quite easily, but it'd be very difficult to get a win and have only camels on my team. Yeah, see? <laughs> this isn't great. Okay, let's roll and see if we can find the final camels then. Ah, we're kind of getting there. Hold on, so what? Sell... Sell giraffe? No, sell peacock. I want this more. Both of these are great, but yeah. Let's see if we can get this going. Okay. Uh... Let's run it back a little bit more. So I'll run this one at the front as like a shield popper, and then I can have my camel chain back here. I'm going to let this buff these two. I'm not feeling great about this team, but... <laughs> I don't know. We kind of won too much early. Oh, my backline camel's not going to be able to do anything. Shame. If I did have something at the back, that would have been fine. But there's still time to recover. If I can find one more camel. Obviously buying these stakes are amazing as well. But I don't want a quad camel victory. I want... I want the full thing, you know. Actually, I'm going to buy one of these. Because I may need to buy like three of them in total. And there it is. Hold on. I'm still not convinced this is the round we're going to win on. And we have no scaling. So it's not like it's getting any <laughs> easier for us. But if I can just find like enough stake for everything. Then there may be some teams we can beat with this. Yeah, again, not this team. Okay, so we want to stake all the small ones. I'm gonna have to move that further forward. I don't think it's worth trying to level these. Like, I have the camels I need now. Like, now I'm just trying to not die, which is going to be very difficult. Yeah, you wish, snail. I need equipment. Oh, fine. Okay, just get some stats then. So, let's run both of these at the front then. Think I'm still happy, but again, it's turn 15, we barely have any stats, and obviously, like, a full team of camels is not very synergistic. Yeah, we're, we're probably dead. Okay, wait, we'll take that, but I need another stake. I just don't think melon on here does anything. I'll freeze it, because if I roll twice and don't find any better food, then, you know, I'm gonna have to take that. Okay. Okay, well... Final turn. I doubt this is going to get a draw, so we just have to pray. And that is way too big. Yeah. Fair enough. We tried. All camel team did not make it. Okay. Double pig. Triple pig. Oh, dear. Uh, let's, let's buy one of those. I'll buy that next turn. But yeah, I feel like you don't get wins with triple pig. <laughs> you can definitely lose, but I don't think you can win. How did I draw this? Didn't they have double mosquito? Oh god, okay. Maybe it's a pig game. <laughs> it might be a pig game. Uh, yeah, you know what? It is. We're doing a pig game. Let's see. 
I can't even remember the last time I did one of these. I know I've had a game where I had like one level three pig and a like triple boar, I think. Let's see if we can get a pig victory. So stack these on there. Maybe roll first, because then I can sell the duck and maybe buff up some cool like tier twos and tier threes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Do that. Dolphin? Uh, don't mind it. So now I can buff like, well, a lot of things. I could sell this pig as well and then I can buy everything, but I think I'll just triple buy for now. Maybe leave the spider and run like double flamingo. I don't know. I also don't know where to put things. <laughs> yeah, let's leave this. I want to find more pigs in the flamingo, I think. Okay. Also, don't want to pull these. These are already very large. I'd much rather just like stack up more on top of them. Or maybe go for a flamingo game. I've tried that before. Been a long time, but there's potential. And we didn't lose. Very nice. Finally got a trophy. Uh, I could buy apples. Like, what else am I looking for at this tier? Yeah, just like flamingos and pigs. <laughs> I could maybe buy a cell otters, but I feel like it's not that likely to hit where I want. Or maybe I do this. I did get an early dolphin. Maybe it's worth going for that instead. Let's freeze it. I don't really want to buy equipment. Anything? Another pig. Okay, let's buy a pig. I am going to keep the pigs, and we are doing a pig game. So I'm going to buy an apple for it. Okay, cool. Okay, so next turn, I can stack this pig. I'm probably not combining into level 3. But it depends. I don't know. I'd love to see a penguin. If I get a penguin, then I'm like over the moon. We can just scale these with uh, that forever. Early worm. Think I'm alright. I can do stuff like this, though, if I really want. Which I'm not really against, to be honest. Like, I don't mind um, buying some other random tier 3s. So, sure, we'll do that. Got a few rolls to buy something else. Again, don't want the worm because I don't want to get invested. And, sure. Let's freeze this out as well. I don't mind buying that. Giraffe? Probably not. I don't know. I'm very, like, hit and miss with giraffe. Like, it's consistent scaling, so, like, the longer you keep it, the better value you get out of it. But I feel like it really sucks, and it only takes, like, three turns to find something better. So, yeah, pill this, buy salad, and then we get, like, three more rolls to buy something else. And we did hit the pig once with the salad, so that's not bad. Uh, hmm. I'd rather not garlic these, because... You know, I can just, like, pill turtles next turn if I need. So what I'm going to do is buy this instead. And that is just... is temporary. It's like buying an apple or something, but it has a bit more presence on the team. You know, as opposed to running a 4 squad. Like, <laughs> obviously a 1-3 is not going to... Not going to be amazing, and it may actively be bad against, like, a blowfish. But it wasn't, and the team is still incredibly strong somehow. Okay, I need to find penguins. Like, that is... is the way to scale with this team. I will buy pears, though. <laughs> Very happy to buy pears. Penguins and turtles, please. Penguin, awesome. Okay. Uh, let's sell the dolphin. I like It's cool, and it's probably better than the giraffe, but right now we have things to scale, and I need that to keep going. Again, I don't want to buy these. I want to find turtles to pill. All penguins, pills, turtles? I don't know. I just don't want to sell the flamingo, either. Like I want to pill that away. <laughs> it's just... Best way to get value, and yeah, I don't think we could have beaten that, but it was sad the trade we had with the whale. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm going to have to leave this pig behind, I think. Like, I do want to run full pig towards the end, but until we get good scaling, there's no point picking that up. Uh, another penguin is excellent. Yeah, buy penguin, buy pear. Put on there, and just roll twice, I think. Do not need more pills. Still have not seen any. Turtles, sadly. But we do have two very large pigs. So. <laughs> there are worse situations to be in. This is not good. That is definitely a loss. Yeah. Okay, 3 HP though. Like, that's, that's still fine. Two hits away from lethal. So yeah, penguins, chocolate, monkeys. Okay. Oh, or do I combine? Penguins are good for now, but if I can find um, a dragon from the combination, then that could scale like way faster. I'm going to stack it, I think. Leopard. Obviously, fine, but that's <laughs> not what I'm going for. Uh, sadly, I do not like any of this. Oh, I really don't want to have to buy garlic. These things need melanoma. 
Okay, let's take our... <laughs> Backline Rhino, then. Maybe it'll do something. I have a feeling it's more likely to just get, like, one shot by a crocodile, but... I'll hold out hope. And hey! I'll take a draw. Anything that's not costing me HP. Please. Chocolate. Look, chocolate's fine if I find, like, a scaler. Like, there's no point dumping more chocolate on there. Like, if I freeze it and find, um, another penguin, then maybe? But... I don't know. Yeah, again, no pig. Cow. Okay, I'm probably by selling that. Like, we don't really need this anymore, and this is quite a bit larger. I'm definitely not chocolating the cow, and obviously I can't do that. If I'm uh, selling it, I'm not gonna freeze it. Turtle. Oh, there's a turtle. Okay, sell this, buy this, and then we just roll for pills, I think. Yeah, I just don't have good use for those things yet. I'll freeze that now. <laughs> I think this is great. I don't need the other pig yet. If I find a uh, a dragon, then it'd be amazing, because with a dragon you can scale up three specific things. Are you going to trade well? No. No, <laughs> it is not. It was so close to a win! If it was slightly bigger. Okay, well, throw this on here. Wait, this is actually the larger one. So throw that on there. I'm just going to buy sell this. I don't think I want to use monkey scaling now. Like, it's a little bit late and it doesn't, um... I don't want to say it doesn't scale well, but I'd much rather find dragons. If I can find some dragons, that'd be awesome. Uh, another <laughs> penguin. It's, it's worse than the monkey. I don't want to buy sell this. Come on, show me a dragon. Dragon. Excellent. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start freezing like tier 1s as well, because I only need one of these. I would love to get it to level 2, but... Yeah. Also, I kind of regret running backline Rhino here. I think it would have been better to have the snail at the back. And sadly, they did pop my... Again, such a close loss. 1 HP now. Hmm. Oh god. <laughs> I'm stacking it. I have to stack this now. If, we, if we're not dead, then it's amazing. But we're not getting that lucky with a lot of these things. Amazing. <laughs> amazing work, Penguin. Oh, okay. This is actually fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no worries here. Finally, not... <laughs> just not dead. So, I guess I'll scale up... Um... We scale up the penguin. The penguin can still hit the other pigs, so let's get rid of the rhino and use that as our buy sell slot. Obviously, the rhino is good to give more stats, you know, more so than the penguin, but I don't want a penguin game. What I Well, not a rhino. I don't want a rhino game. What I want is a pig game, so... And there it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, buy this, buy that. Next turn, I'm selling the penguin, and we're using that as the buy sell slot. I think I'm pretty happy with where everything is. Finding the melon was also amazing. Like, that's going to, like, double the value of this pig, hopefully. Okay. Well, that was very sad. Oh, uh, alright. Okay. Let me go. Okay, we will be the perfect scholars. I've had like five games today, and that last one was the first bad one. <laughs> Everything else was either like a good victory or a very, very close good loss. Not that there were any good losses, but the games themselves were pretty nice. And I'm probably going to do this. Like, I love mosquitoes, and I'd love to get a mosquito if I have a kind win at some point. But I don't think today is going to be the day. Not an excellent trade for that frontline pig, but everything else clutched it, so we pick up a trophy. Uh, Flamingo, Peacock, Dodo. I like, I like a few of these things, or maybe all of them. Do I sell the ducks just to get like more stats on these things? If I want to go for a peacock, then I could probably do that. Let's do it. Let's like pick up all of this. And then sell pig before I sell otter, because I could maybe buy more of those. Don't know about any of this. Probably not pulling the flamingo yet, but keep that frozen. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So sell otter, buy another one of these. <laughs> Freeze pill. Nah, we probably go for the combination. Actually, no, we probably don't. I could. It's, it makes more sense to go for these. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm going to send it like this, I think. And next turn, I'm going to pill flamingo onto these two. Maybe run a bit of a dodo chain. 
they're not going to be great because obviously it's only scaling like 30 it's only passing on like 33 percent of its attack which is like one but if it gets very big it could be decent later maybe but yeah let's do this uh buy this stack that i could buy the apple is that where i roll really hard for like one more of any of these three and i think i'd rather do that okay good we have one of those i don't need more flamingos and you know what maybe it's a dodo game <laughs> maybe this is the push i needed and maybe i should have frozen that pill as well now that i'm looking at it well that lived but i don't think we're gonna get good trades here yeah that's a nine nine they had the almost level 3 auto. That could have been a lot of stats for them. Okay, well, we start by seeing what this turns into. It is a whale. I'm not that interested. I'd rather just, like, pill the flamingo soon, but... Maybe I buy it for now. I could just stack that there, put garlic on here, and then, um... I don't know, pill it next turn, get rid of the whale again. I think it does alright for us. Oops, freeze, yep. Snail. Would love it. Not selling Dodo to make it happen. And I'm not, like, double selling either. Don't feel too bad about the whale either, because it's not, um... In a dangerous position. I've had teams before where I've had whale... You know, eating something safe, but if the thing in front of it gets killed, then it suddenly ends up eating, like, my best unit. So, in this case, we're just... <laughs> feeling fine. Uh, let's continue stacking that, I think. Probably pill this on there, and then... I don't know. Have, like, three rolls... Gonna leave the snail. Don't really want to buy a spider. And yeah, we just take this. I think whale does nothing. You may eat this peacock for absolutely no reason. <laughs> and okay. We go for level 3. We go for level 3 dodo. The sad part is I'm not going to be able to scale it with a monkey because then I have to run to the front. And running a frontline dodo is not impressive. Also, my whale just ate a fairly large, <laughs> fairly large peacock there. Thanks to the mosquito snipes. Anyway, we start with you. Cow. Don't mind it. Cow is fine. Maybe buy a squirrel as well. Like that's um you know. Food scaling potentially. Let's buy this next, I think. Oh, we have a food build. Hold on. <laughs> right, I think I'm selling whale. Maybe buying this stuff first. I'd much rather have like a full seal or squirrel squad, so I may I may go really hard on the seal. So let's get these on the team. Then, like, sell Beaver. I'm going to unfreeze this, because as good as this is, and I could just keep this whole squad for, like, the rest of the game, I'd much rather just have, like, this going. But, uh, yeah, to start, we do still pump that. I like it. I like it. Yeah, solid. Okay, that's good. Pilling a turtle would be fine, but I kind of want to keep the cow on the squad. But it depends. Like, seal scaling doesn't really benefit from higher level milk. Like, you benefit from having lots of spammy food, which the squirrel does. Having, like, you know, better and best milk is great with the cats, but, I don't know, fairly average with the regular seal. But for now, I think we keep it. Uh, you know what? I probably want that to happen, too. Like, this thing doesn't really need more attack. Like, after one hit, that thing's going to have, like, 16 attack. So that's probably going to do fine. What I need is my other stuff to have, like, like slightly more. And yeah, that's going really well. <laughs> I don't want to have to buy cupcakes. <laughs> they are like pears, but the stats are going to be going on stuff I don't care about. And I see the worms as well, but... Uh, I need to decide what I'm going to do here. Because I'd much rather just have a seal game. But what can I do at this tier to make a seal game work? I really don't want to do that either. It's going to be a little bit hard to get rid of, but I think I just roll for like squirrels. Squirrels and more pears. Maybe canned food for when I like buy more of these. Come on, shoot some pears to freeze. Nothing, okay. Well, send it again then. Next turn, I'm hoping for like... I don't even know if I want chocolate. Chocolate would be amazing, but if I can find a whole team of seals, then I won't really need it. I just need to buy like... As much spammy stat food as I can. Yeah, don't need that. I do like this, but... I don't know, freeze it maybe? Maybe buy that, freeze both of these. Let's have a few rolls to try and find another seal. Uh... No, let's, okay, let's buy, and then we get one more roll to see if we want to freeze food. Uh, I will go for a level 2 squirrel, I think. I think that is definitely worth something. Well, i probably, like, play them separately first, because then I get to see, like, more food. But yeah. Come on, show me the seals. The cow is nice. There is chocolate, too. 
Uh, yeah, how do I start this then? Maybe get rid of the dodo. Yeah. Okay, get rid of the dodo, chocolate you. Don't buy the other squirrel yet, because I, I want it on my team separately, but I don't think I want to risk it getting, like, other stats. So maybe, like, buy sushi. <laughs> Didn't hit the seal at all. Buy sushi, uh, buy sell cow, or just stack cow, feed everything to here. Yeah, okay, so we can just do this then. Oh, this is so inefficient, though. Like, this would be so much better if I had other seals on the team, because they'd actually be hitting other seals. As things currently stand, I'm, you know, putting a lot of stats onto the seal, but all of the seal ability stuff is doing nothing. Like, it's, it's sharing out the stats in ways that I don't care about. The sushi is it's the same problem. It is one gold, so, like, it's definitely worth taking. Yeah, we'll buy both of these. I'm not gonna worry about freezing them, but I'm gonna leave the rest. Like, I know this is one gold and it's fine, but I don't care about these things. And that is interesting. So do I stack this or do I, do I play it separately? I have a lot of gold and we're like approaching the end of the game. I could maybe sell the peacock. Because like, I'm going to have to throw a little bit if I want to get a meme win out of this. Because I need time to ramp up my stats. If I get to 9 trophies and then try and pivot, then I won't have a chance. So if I'm going to throw, now is the time. So let's do that. I'm just going to free salad and I want to see if I can find... Actually, no, let's see if we can find chocolate first or another cow or something. Oh, this. Fine, look, we just buy that. I'm gonna leave the salad bowl, it's fine, but would love to find chocolate. I think I'll leave everything where it is. I don't know, I'm just like so lost on this. I don't see how I'm going to pivot well. Okay, well, steak on here is fine. Uh, do that. Maybe I should have bought the mushroom first, because that's like one gold plus two, two, but. Yeah, we're leaving these. <laughs> Melon, probably not. Like, they're good, but I need, like, full seal squad, please. Oh, no. Uh, yes? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna lose the sushi, but I think that's worth something. Okay, so keep pumping this one for now. Definitely not risking, like, combining those just to see it. And I'll freeze a pizza. I'm gonna leave the pair, like... As long as this hits one of my seals, it's like... It's pretty good. This is awful for us. Okay, uh, another steak. It is one gold. Not buying the meat bone, but I think like... Buy salad, buy pizza, steak this. I'm so locked in. Like, it's, it's not great. Okay, do this. Buy you. We're probably just running a food build now. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pivot, like, that is a large cow. And I see the pair and stuff, but come on, more, more of these. I don't want to freeze any of this. <laughs> I'll freeze the sushi, but, oh, come on. How am I ever going to pivot away? I'm winning somehow as well. This is just making it worse. <laughs> the more I win, the harder it's going to be to buy new things. I don't care about those. Like, great stats of one gold. One of them was two gold, but... Oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> I think I just lock in. Maybe I make these a, um... A VOD channel thing, and I see the cats. I don't care about the cats. There's another seal. Uh... I don't think I need two chocolates. I think I buy one, and then I maybe, like, sell a squirrel. It'd be so hard to sell a cow, but... Although I think we may just be, like, dead soon. Or we may just win soon, actually. Yeah, it, it depends if I um do try the pivots. Okay, I'm going to get rid of a squirrel, I think. Sell squirrel, buy other seal, chocolate you. Hello, dragon. I'm going to stake this, leaving these. And... What? Free stake, roll really hard, and hope I get a draw, and then find some seals next turn. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to throw these to the back, because I don't want to win. I want to lose or draw, so let's see if we can get one of those with this. And then if I can find, like, two seals and, like, some equipment for them, then that could be great. This is... Oh, that was, that was so close to being a draw. <laughs> Incredibly close. Okay. 
Uh, no, nah, I leave it. I leave it. We need the stake, but I need to roll for seals. Like, I need... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get rid of the seal next. The seal, the squirrel. And... Keep rolling. Keep rolling if we can get one more. It's two gold. Okay. Well, I think that's where we ended then. We <laughs> got quad seal. Not bad. Let's see if that can, like, pull us through then. Maybe shouldn't have thrown that one to the front, actually. It would trade with a 50-50, but I don't really want it hitting the scariest stuff out there. Okay, yeah, it's dead. Okay. It was an attempt. Okay. We go again. Let's start buffing up at crickets. I think I have had a really good cricket game before, but I don't think I've had a... A win with a lot of them. I may have had... I don't know. I've gone for a five of a kind before. And I think I may have had a quad victory with crickets. And I think that was on the VOD channel a long time ago. But <laughs> definitely nothing recent. Uh, I don't love any of these. And it's kind of annoying because I can't... I don't want to combine the pigs. I'd rather double sell. But I don't know. Maybe I do try again. Definitely not going for the mosquitoes. If I'm going for a mosquito game, I want to find like... You know, I want to have, like, two of them on my turn, on, like, on my team on the first couple of turns. Not just in the shop, ready for when tier twos come out. And Swan, I think I'm very in. I think having the elephant is pretty good as well, if I'm going to sell this. So, let's do something like that. Uh, buying apples is fine, but I definitely need a meat bone before I try anything like that. I actually like both of these a lot. Maybe you sell cricket by both. Okay, this is great. I do need to find pills next turn as well, but for now, loving whatever this is. I have no idea if I'm going to do anything with the elephant. Like, I know having stats on it is great, so if I'm going to make use of it, I might as well give that the stats compared to some of the other things on my team, but I don't know. I'm always a big fan of Swan, so <laughs> I'm fine investing there too. Double pill? And we have a pick for next turn too. Nice. Uh, I think I'm going to do this because it makes room and I don't need to... You know, like, I'm probably going to pull the spider next turn as well, so I'll freeze that, but... For now, do this, buy pig, and then I can combine those next turn. And let's run it like that. This is a solid team. I can lose, but I don't know if I will. If it will. <laughs> that was obviously a great get from the spider, but we, we had that either way, I think. I see you badges, but I don't know. Yeah, bison is not happening. I've already tried a bison game earlier, and despite buying a bison and having a a thing at level 2 and 1 notch, I couldn't find the level up for like 4 turns. <laughs> it was just like pointless. There's a dead 4-4 on my team for so long. So let's start with that. I'm not going to bother like buying a dog and doing stuff there either. Oh, and there we go. Another combo, and then I can buy another tier 4. Squirrel is amazing. Okay. Uh, I don't care about the rest of this. I definitely don't care about that. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing Elephant Blowfish either. I can maybe go really hard on like a Badger game. Might throw that to the front, see if I can get a trade that way. Or well, not a trade, but I mean, if it um, dies quickly, then I don't won't lose any... I won't lose much for this. Thankfully, that worked out as well. And I don't mind the draw either. Like, I'm fine with the draw, as long as I'm not losing. Although, that will turn it into more wins, probably. Uh, when do I sell the pig? Because this gives me like four gold. Two for the level two and then two for the ability. I kind of want to buy the salad and stuff this turn because I do have a lot of things I can give that to. So I probably do this now because I don't want salad to hit random junk. So let's do something like this. And I'm going to leave this. I want to find like more badges, swan. Can't find a squirrel, obviously, but if I find more food, that could be cool. Sure. <laughs> buy that. Uh, I will freeze this now, and on the next roll, I'm hoping to buy something, and yeah, nothing I like. Maybe the rat, just because it's the largest. It sums a 1-1 for them, but unless they have synergy for it, I don't think I need to worry too much. Uh, let's do it like that, maybe. Didn't see any food worth freezing, either. I'd rather just look for, you know, pears and salad next time, probably. And yeah, nice! <laughs> It's been a while since I ran Honey Badger. Okay, there is a pair. I do not care about my elephant. It's like slightly big, but... Yeah, I think I'm fine. The other thing is maybe I go for like a squirrel game. 
Which I would love. Hmm. We're a badger game. I never do badger games. I'm gonna leave these two though. Like, I just don't care. Alright. Okay, this is cool as well. So, buy that straight. Crocodile. Also amazing and probably worth buying this turn. And then I can just, like, freeze these two if I need. I don't mind buying a canned food. I'm actually interested in knowing what people think about canned food now, because I feel like it used to be a, basically a must-pick, and now a lot of people are just not into it. And, yeah, for the longest time, I didn't buy it either. I don't know. It's obviously not worth it if you're planning to pivot. Sorry, if you're not planning to pivot. But I feel like a lot of the time it's not really worth it even if you are planning to pivot, so... Yeah, I'd be interested in hearing people's thoughts on that. Uh, yeah, what do I do with all this? <laughs> do I go for the crocodile team? I already had one of those recently. Yeah, we're doing the badger. All right, just pump this really hard then. Wouldn't mind freezing the turtle and like pulling that onto there. Maybe freeze that. Penguin, it is scaling. Sure, at least for a turn. I don't think we're going to be using the squirrel for that much longer. Uh, another badger. It's nice if I am going to go for the badger game, but I don't have the scaling yet, so I don't think it's worth trying for. Yeah, just like, keep leaving it. For now, keep leaving it. Next turn, probably selling penguin, pulling turtle onto badger, and then like <laughs> hard rolling for monkey. There's other scaling I could do, but I think that's probably the best thing I could look for at the moment. Okay, so sell you this onto there. Obviously putting on there or something could be great, but I'm not very locked in. Don't really care about the rest of this equipment. So, monkey, please. Another snail, sure. And <laughs> then, I don't know. End on a swan, maybe? Like, I'm probably keeping this for a while. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's run it like this. I'm going to be very upset if this dies before the badger can trigger, but I don't mind the badger killing a swan and, you know, potentially getting a great trade with its ability, so... Yeah, for now, we'll run it like this. Uh, if it ruins the fight, I may just, like, instantly move him to the back again. Thankfully, we got, like, great value out of it, so no concern. We are getting a little bit late into the game, and I clearly don't have a great setup for my badger thing yet. Like, I don't know. If I find monkeys or if I can buy sell some cows, then I wouldn't be too far behind. I don't want any of this, and I don't want the crocodile either. Like, it's not, it's not where I'm trying to make this go. Not sure. I'm just going to have to buy these, I think. Still, I don't know about the penguin. It's scaling, but it's not targeted. Alright. Targeted in the way I want to, I mean. Like, it's 1-1 it's one, one a turn on the thing I care about. So it's going to be buffing a swan as well, but... Yeah, not as interested. Ah, uh, I probably get, like, way more value out of this, to be honest. I don't think it's worth trying to level the swan. So, I'm probably going to leave that. But... Yeah, that's like a, another 50% discount on the food. Instead of everything being two gold, we see like an extra thing and most of it's um, one gold, so... I think that is great. <laughs> Something did kill my squirrel before the badger triggered, but it didn't really cost me anything. Didn't lose the cow, awesome. Uh, the sad thing is, all of this food sucks. <laughs> like, the steak's alright, but I don't have other badgers yet. Let's see. Sell crocodile, maybe? I kind of like running double squirrel. Place shop food with two free milk that gives things. So, I don't know if that, like, replaces everything, or if it just replaces the two stuff on the right. But I also don't know how much I care. <laughs> I think I take one of these. I think I'm going to get rid of that, and then we buy this to see if it removes the pill as well. It did? Okay. That's kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, we need to keep going. A dragon! Dragon scaling is very good. We do have a swan, but I'd, I'd have to find more, um badges if I'm doing that. Okay. To start, I'm gonna leave the steak, I think. Maybe? I guess not. If I'm buying food, it's probably a steak, and that is... That is exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, so now we're gonna have, like, two badges. I think next turn I'm selling the squirrels. There's no way the badge is going to die and kill both of these. They'd have to have, like, skunk-dolphin combo. Well, this is pretty scary anyway, though. <laughs> okay, we did lose, but we have a lot of HP. Like, it's not... It's not that bad. Oh, God, I forgot about the squirrels. Whatever. Whatever, we can manage. Okay, let's get rid of one of these. I'm going to be getting rid of both, so I'd rather just have the extra gold for now. But throw that on there. 
Uh, I will buy sell both. And then buy the canned food. But I want the chili. I, I don't know. It may be okay for a little bit. Gonna leave the garlic, but yeah, I need... <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I pivot to like all dragons. It's all a possibility. I need to find... I'm not freezing the snail. I know it's like slightly better than a tier one if I um, lose, but yeah, I trust. Okay. Like, I have a very large badger, but I also have a level two swan and, you know, fairly early leveled up dragon. So like, there are so many things I could do with this. I just need to find enough of the same thing for me to make it a meme. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'm doing this. All right, so be the... By you. I'm gonna put chili on here, I think. I'm gonna leave the canned food. Uh, probably not touching any of this, honestly. Steak isn't bad, but come on, show me another dragon. I would be very gr grateful. No. Oh, come on. Second, I like try and pivot, and now I can't. Oh, God, my brain is not working. This is fine. Alright, just throw that to the back, though. Like, we really don't want that thing at the front anymore. Everything else is too... too important. Uh, we're still fine. Yeah, okay. We can still make this work. I need one more dragon so I can start making this work properly, though. I can scale for a bit, because, like, they're still scaling each other a little bit, but... Yeah, if I can just get a third dragon. There we go, okay. Uh, the question is how I do this now, because I don't have a lot of HP left, and it makes more sense to keep the swan around, you know, to get extra gold for the buy selling for the dragons. But that may be kind of difficult, so maybe I sell this one first, and then I sell the dragon towards the, the the badger before the end. I think for now, I don't sell anything this turn, and we just, yeah, look for more things. This is great. Chocolate's going to be a little bit diff difficult to use, I think. It's quite a big gold investment, so I may leave that. I think another melon is fine. And, uh, yeah, it's running like this then. I've gone for Dragon Games before, and I've never had, like, an amazing setup for it. Oh, so close. Okay. Okay, we just need to, like, dive all in, I think. I don't think there's a safe way to do this, so I'm going to get rid of the swan. Spice cell probably end on the crickets. It's not the biggest one, but I like the... Thing it can summon. I can maybe throw that behind the badger and throw it to the front. I'm liking this though. Buy a cow and on cricket. Now we need tier ones. We can roll twice, find more tier ones next turn. This thing is now 50 50. <laughs> It'd be very sad if I ever get rid of that. Uh, but yeah, throw that to the front. You, you will kill anything, even my dragon through melon armor, so. Yeah, we just have to pray the cricket doesn't die. That's the only the only thing we can do there. If cricket dies and somehow the zombie cricket dies before the badger does, then it's gonna hurt. Thankfully, absolutely no worries. Come on, more dragons. Just one more. Like <laughs> I wanna get rid of the badger. Uh if only this was quad dragon though. Oh there he is. Okay. Next turn, we try. Okay. Next turn, badger is going. I need to find a uh, stake for this, probably. It's a little bit more risky, because if this does get sniped at the start, then it doesn't summon anything, so there's less of a thing between him. Uh, still fine. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. We have so much scaling. Okay, so I'm selling my 50 50 <laughs> level 2 melon badger. Oh, okay. Come on, though. It's so much scaling. You can do this, team. And show me one more dragon next turn. Uh, it's better to end on the otter, right? Yeah, probably. End on that. I don't know whether to freeze other tier ones, because again, if I'm going to try and get a full dragon victory, then I need to find my last dragon. So I may leave it here. Throw that to the back. Throw this one here, maybe. I actually kind of liked where it was. Yeah, we can leave this. Leave it like this then. Or this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That pops a shield. That should hopefully trade with it. Then this can pop maybe two more shields, and that can like 
carry everything behind it. But I'm leaving the tier ones. I need to find my final drag. Oh, what was that? <laughs> please. Oh, please. I can't do this.